When I'm riding through your hood, east side, be with me. So the pole at his chromosome, me with me. I'm back. Any nigga got a problem with that? What's good, YouTube? It's your boy T, and I'm back with another video, man. And today, we're gonna be talking about mode three. Alright, so look, man. Yesterday, I made a video reading an article stating that this mode three death case could somehow possibly turn into a whole Rico case. And in that article, they were saying how Mo 3's alleged murderer, uh, Kiwan Dontrell White, has a well-known affiliate of his who also recently got locked up and facing federal charges. So we are going to go into detail a little more of these federal charges. You understand what I'm saying? Now I'm going to read this article verbatim for y'all right quick. And this source is via WFAA, Channel 8, ABC. Two Dallas men, one of whom is the suspect in the fatal shooting of rapper Mo3, are facing federal gun charges. According to the U.S. Attorney, authority said Kiwan Dontrell White, age 22, and Devin Maurice Brown Jr., age 27, are facing federal charges. White was indicted on one count of felon in possession of a firearm. According to a criminal complaint filed in November, officials found a 9mm pistol in White's pocket. He allegedly fled from authorities while on his dirt bike and then on foot during an attempt traffic stop. White is also expected to face a murder charge in connection with the shooting death of Dallas rapper. Melvin Noble, better known as Mo3, he was arrested Wednesday in Oak Cliff and is in federal custody. Brown, the other person facing federal charges, is a known affiliate of White's. Federal officials did not state that Brown is connected to Noble's killing. Noble being Mo3, of course. During the search of Brown's house in November, Officials said they found a stolen AK-47 in his closet and drugs. Those drugs included spice, a bottle of multicolored tablets that tested positive for meth, several scales, baggies, and more than $3,200. Brown was arrested November 19th in Oak Cliff and has been indicted on one count of felon in possession of a firearm and one count of conspiracy to possess with intent to distribute a controlled substance according to the federal officials. If the two men are convicted, White faces up to 10 years in federal prison and Brown faces up to 20 years. All right, so a few things to talk about here. First thing being the obvious. Federal officials did not state that Brown is connected to Mo 3's killing. So as of now, uh, this second suspect or the second guy that's in custody that's an affiliate of Mo 3's actual alleged gunman, he's not labeled as an official suspect or anything for Mo 3's killing. He's indicted on federal charges for guns and drugs. And again, that's as of now because just because federal officials did not state that doesn't mean they can't state it in the future i mean this is all relatively fresh they literally just caught the nigga a couple of days ago all right so boom the second thing we're going to talk about white faces up to 10 years in federal prison and brown faces up to 20. white faces up to 10 years in federal prison and Brown faces up to 20. Let me say that one more time. White, a.k.a. the alleged gunman that murdered Mo3, is facing 10 years in federal prison if convicted. But Brown, the person that they say ain't got shit to do with Mo3 killing, 
he facing a decade more than white for gun and drug charges. <laughs> gotta love America, right? I love to hear what y'all gotta say about that in the comment section down below. How do y'all feel about that? Him getting 10 years versus Buddy getting 20. I hate to get all political and have to be that person. But that's just like a slap in the face to me. Being a black man in America. The fact that I could walk outside right now and get smoked. And a nigga that smoked me going to get less time than a nigga moving a little weight. My life now worth more than some damn spice and guns, my nigga. I slap you. That's what I be saying, man. <laughs> hey, but anyway, man, how y'all feel about this? Let me know in the comment section, bro. Like, comment, subscribe. Hit that notification bell, man. Hey, man. Follow me on Instagram. TZF Baby. 252. Oh, and to be fair. Because all of this is alleged. You understand what I'm saying? So indictments are merely allegations of criminal conduct. Not evidence. Like all defendants. Mr. White and Mr. Brown are both presumed innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. Speaking of indictments. Go stream 03. Four indictments. The mixtape. Because ironically, oh, it's about to be a lot of niggas getting indicted. If you understand what I'm saying. Long Lil Mo 3. I'm gone. Prolific. Aye. Bitch, I'm in these streets. Fuck this in the street. Bitch, I'm in these streets. Fuck this in the street. Bitch, I'm in these streets. Fuck this in the street. Bitch, I'm in these streets. Fuck this in the street. Bitch, I'm in these streets.